Okay, so now we'll move on to Leslie Matrices. So Leslie Matrices are the only new and added content to the study design. They're essentially the same thing as Transition Matrices. Um, it's just that um, the way that you would use them is a little bit different and also what they represent is a little bit different. So Leslie Matrices look at the change in the female members of a particular population over time. And if you think about it, we will have some form of survival rate and birth rate. So if we have, or if we're analyzing different age groups in a female population, so for example, if we were analyzing, you know, um, a particular insect population, we might look at, you know, one week year old insects, and we might look at two week year old insects, and then we might look at three week year old insects, and that might be the life cycle of the insect population. So they might just die off after three weeks. So in that case, what will happen is um, we would have a birth rate and a survival rate. So going from week one of the insect population to week two, we might have only some of the insects going into the next stage. And then from week two to week three, we might only have a certain population, a certain proportion of the population that might be going from the second age group to the third age group. And then from the third age group, we don't really have a survival rate because they're all going to die off after three weeks. And then the other thing that we have a look at is birth rate. So birth rate is um, how many females, so on average, how many births are being, how many babies are being born per female in each age group. So for example, in a particular pop population, so the insect one, after, so in the first week, the insects are not mature enough to give birth. So the birth rate is going to be zero. In the second stage, in the second week, the insects are mature enough, so therefore they can give birth. And the birth rate is, let's just say, you know, five. So each insect mother is going to give birth to five babies per, so on average. So that the, the birth rate would be five. And the, um, let's just say the third week, it might be two. So stuff like that, you'll have a birth rate and a survival rate. So survival rate just refers to what proportion of females are going from one age group to the next age group. And then the birth rate is, on average, how many females are being born, um, how many females are being born per female in each age group. Because remember, we only look at the female of the population. And these can take the form of nth term like equations. So again, very similar to transition matrices. So I'll go through an example now. And the only thing that you will notice is different is that the columns will not necessarily add up to one. So in transition matrices, they're always added up to one. In, um, in these types of questions, they won't add up to one. And this is an example of a Leslie matrix question. So we have usually a life cycle transition diagram. So this diagram over here is called a life cycle transition diagram. And essentially what's happening is we have age group one, age group two, and age group three. You might have more age groups, you might have less age groups. And then from age group one to age group two, we have a survival rate of 0 0.5. So only 50% of the insects in age group one are going to survive to age group two. And then from age group two, 60% of them are going to survive to age group three. And then after age group three, since they all die off, we're not going to have any um, other survival rates. And then these ones over here, as well as this one, represent the birth rates. So from, so for example, in this population, um, so it's rats. So anyone in week one is already mature enough to give birth. So on average for each female in age group one, 0 0.6 um, rabbit babies are born. And it's a circle because if we look at the females born, they're going to be born in age group one, right? They're not going to be born in age group two or age group three. Because if we're giving birth to someone, they're going to be born as, you know, a, um, an, in age group one or the youngest age group. So for example, 2.4 would represent the birth rate for anyone, for any female in age group two. So it goes back to one because the, um, rats that are going to be born are going to be born in age group one and then 0.7 for age group three and this is how you would construct the leslie matrix 
So again, you would have, so I would say probably a from and a to. So on the top row, you would have all your birth rates. So age group one birth rate, age group two birth rate, age group three birth rate. If there's four, age group four birth rate. And then all of your um, survival rates are diagonal. So below the first row, they start diagonal. So age, so survival rate of age group one, survival rate of age group two, depending on how many age groups you have. And if you have three age groups, the matrix is going to have an order of three by three. So that's really important to note. Um, and we're also going to have very similar to um, transition matrix. We're going to have an initial population and then we might be required to calculate the population after six years, for example. So then you would put it to the power of five and calculate um, the matrices, uh, the answer. So this is the answer here. Um, next step is to calculate, um, so this would be the individual um, population of rats in each age group after six years. And since we're calculating the total female population of rats after six years, then you might use a subbing matrix to calculate the number of female rats. So very straightforward, um, very similar. So I want to straightforward, but very similar to transition matrices. Um, okay, so that was essentially...